Hello, my name is Christian Jansson. I work as a professor at Uppsala University and I'm going to talk about our study, Management and Risk Mortality in Patients Hospitalized to a First Severe CPD Exacerbation. Now the background of this study is that severe CPD exacerbations that result in hospitalizations are resource demanding and that rehospitalizations is common following discharge. The aim of our study was to evaluate rehospitalization, treatment, comorbidities, and mortality in patients with CPD who were hospitalized for the first time due to a CPD exacerbation. We also wanted to identify risk factors for rehospitalizations and mortality. The method we used was that it was a retrospective population-based observational study where we used data from three national registers, the um, drug prescription registry, the patient registry, and the registry on causes of death, all merged together. Using this registry, we were able to identify over 50,000 patients that came for the first time with a CFPD hospitalization. The main findings was that 35% of the patients were not using inhaled corticosteroids, long-acting muscarinic antagonists or long-acting beta agonists prior to the hospitalization, and that 38% of them continued without treatment even after <coughs> being discharged from the hospital. We also found that rehospitalizations due to a second severe exacerbation with one year was quite common. It occurred in 24% of the patients. 24 of the patients died during the first year of follow-up and the risk of mortality increased with every subsequent rehospitalization. We also found that comorbidities including ischemic heart disease, heart failure and pneumonia were more common among patients who were rehospitalized than those who were not. So our conclusions are the following. Following <coughs> hospitalization for the first severe CVD exacerbations, many patients do not collect the treatment recommended by current guidelines. That risk of mortality increase with every subsequent rehospitalization, and that patients with concurrent comorbidities had an increased risk of being rehospitalized. 